we have to find out the area bounded by this uh, fx equal to minimum of fractional part of x minus 2 comma fractional part of 3 minus x and between the lines x equal to 4 and x equal to minus 4. Now we are saying if uh, more or less, uh, fractional part of x minus 2 can be written as fractional part of 2x and fractional part of 3 minus x can be also written as fractional part of minus x. So if we sketch the graph of fractional part of x, fractional part of x is like this and then we are sketching the graph of fractional part of minus x. Now we have to find out the area of minimum of this. So the minimum is going to be this shaded portion. Now we can see there are in total 8 triangles and I can say that the area of this triangle is going to be half into 1 and this height is going to be half. So the total area by these 8 triangles is going to be multiplied by 8. So, this is going to be 2. So, the correct answer is going to be C. We have to find out the direction ratios of the normal of the plane which contains these two lines. If we are saying these two lines, then we can say, see ki this uh, line and this line are parallel because their direction ratios are th 3 to 1. So, I can say ki this first line is passing through the point 2 comma 4 comma 1 and the direction ratio of this line is 3 to 1. The second line is passing through the point 6 comma minus 2 comma 2 and having the same direction ratio 3 to 1. I have to find out the normal uh, vector to this plane. Then we can see there are two vectors in the plane. One is 3 to 1 and the second can be obtained by subtracting these two points. I can subtract the two point and this is going to be 4 comma minus 6 comma 1. And we can see that the, norm, the normal to the plane is going to be the cross product of these two vectors. So, this can be obtained by i, j, k, 3, 2, 1 and 4, minus 6, 1. Now, expanding this determinant, we can see this is going to be 2 plus 6, that is going to be 8 i cap. Then is going to be minus j and this is 3 minus 4, that is minus 1. So, this is going to be plus j cap and this is going to be k cap this multiplied by 3 into minus 6 minus 18 and minus 8 that is going to be minus 26 k cap. So, the normal vector to the plane is going to be 8 1 minus 26 and we can compare okay, this is a 1 minus 26. So, the value of a is going to be 8 and hence the correct answer is going to be d delhi. In question number 3, we have to find out the value of this integral. We are supposing this to be i. Now, this is reciprocal limit. In reciprocal limit, generally we used to put substitution x equal to 1 upon t. If we are putting x equal to 1 by t, this i will become the lower limit 1 by 3 corresponding to this. This is going to be 3 and the high upper limit 3 is going to be 1 by 3 now. So, this is going to be tan 1 upon t square minus t square upon sin t plus 1 by t and if we will calculate dx this is going to be minus 1 upon t square dt so this is minus 1 upon t square dt and this x this x is going to be 1 upon t so this t will cancel out and we can see a minus sign will be uh, out from this and uh, there is one more minus sign so this will become 3 to 1 by 3 then t square minus 1 upon t square upon sin t plus 1 by t dt upon t. Now, we com compare this integral with this. Uh, the limits are interchanged. So, this, this can be written as minus i. So, we can write 2i equal to 0. So, the value of i is going to be 0 and hence the answer is 8.